Point Pleasant, West Virginia, April 1967. Linda Sigmund and her boyfriend head out for a quiet nighttime drive. Far beyond the city lights, they pull over to do some amateur stargazing. After a few minutes, they realize they're not alone. We got out and we sat on the car and we're sitting there talking for a little bit and I noticed a bright star over to my right. And all of a sudden it started to get bigger and it turned bright red and it started to glow and like it burst through the clouds and it came right over in front of the car and we looked up and the object was so big that we couldn't see the night sky or the stars or anything. My boyfriend tried to start the car and it wouldn't start. Finally got the car started and we started to pull forward and I saw him and he appeared to be a large flying man with wings. It was the creature that I perceived to be Mothman. His wings were back and he was anywhere between eight and nine feet tall. And as we were going around the turn, the Mothman flew and flew into the trees. I don't know what else it could have been. The Mothman? A large, red-eyed, human-sized creature that flies? But if such a creature exists, where could it have come from? Mothman is one of the most enigmatic creatures in the annals of the unexplained, and first gained public notoriety in November of 1966. And within a matter of days and weeks, there were dozens or perhaps hundreds of sightings of this creature around the Point Pleasant area, causing a mass hysteria situation. Skeptics have attributed the Mothman sightings to a misidentification of giant owls or even a crane that is local to the area. There's all kinds of other explanations that have been given, but when you interview the people that actually saw and experienced this, they're not talking about anything that is conventionally known. West Virginia people are outdoorsy people. They know all the animals in the woods. Most are avid outdoorsmen, hunters, fishermen. They know the difference between an owl and a mothman type creature. We have to consider that the mothman's behavior, which involved chasing cars at over 100 miles an hour, taking straight up off the ground like a helicopter, none of those would indicate any type of flesh and blood animal. Chasing cars at over 100 miles an hour. If true, then this thing is no owl, at least not a normal one. What do you think? Are creatures like the chupacabra, the goat man, and the moth man real? Or are they figments of overactive imaginations? Perhaps mankind is so good at creating its own demons that they become real. And we say we want to find them, capture them, and study them. But perhaps all we really should do is leave them alone. Let them stay in the shadows. Let them remain the unexplained.